Welcome to NG Glasses YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider how to sketch a given signal y of t. The y of t signal looks something like this, which is equal to r of t plus 1 minus r of t plus r of t minus 2. The task is to sketch the signal. So first I should know what is the given signal r of t. So if I want to sketch r of t, it looks something like this, which is a ramp signal. So this is r of t with respect to t, which is something like this. So from minus infinity to zero, the signal is zero. Zero onwards, it is a linearly varying signal. So this is how r of t looks like. So what is r of t plus one? r of t plus one is shifted version of r of t. It has been shifted to the left by one. Then I have to see r of t, the given signal itself. But I need to sketch minus r of t wherein the amplitude gets reversed. It looks something like that. So that is minus r of t. Then I have to see what is r of t minus 2. r of t minus 2 is the shifted version of ramp signal and it is been shifted by the unit 2 to the right. Uh, to the right. So I have to consider all these three signals then add them all so that I would get the final signal y of t. So first let me sketch r of t plus 1. So I'll, let me draw y axis and x axis. So this is time t and this signal I would call it as r of t plus 1. I said the signal being shifted to the to the left by unit minus 1. So this is how the shape of the signal is. The signal remains same as it was but only thing is it has been shifted to the left by minus 1. So next is I need to draw minus r of t. So let me draw that. So this is y axis. This is x axis. So I would call this signal as minus r of t. So how does this signal? I know r of t looks like this. Minus r of t is amplitude made negative. So it would look something like this. So this signal is minus r of t. So what I'm left with, I'm left with the final signal r of t minus 2. How does that look like? So let me draw that. So this is y axis and finally this is x axis. I would call the signal as r of t minus 2. So how does that look like? It is shifted version of a ramp but being shifted to the right by the unit 2. So this is where the ramp signal starts from. So these are the final three signals which I am uh, having now. R of t plus 1 minus R of t plus R of t minus 2. So I have to add these three signals to get the final signal I would call it as y of t. So the uh, better I would sketch y of t here. So this is x axis is t, y axis I would call the given signal which I am trying to sketch that is y of t. So first let me write down all the possible limits. So looking at the signals, first signal is starting at minus 1. So this is at 0 and this is at 2. So possible limits are minus 1 to 2. So let me write down these limits minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So these are the limits. So let me uh, add all these signals unit by unit, step by step, starting from minus 1. Minus 1 to 0. I have only this signal and this is the shape of the signal. So that getting added with zeros. So shape of this signal remains. That is from minus 1 till 0. So this is how it looks like. Minus 1 till 0. I have only one signal. Shape of that signal remains. 0 onwards. 0 onwards, this is how the signal is. 0 onwards, I have got one more signal which is decaying signal. Uh, which is uh, minus R of T. So I have these two signals. I have these two signals till what point I need to check. Till that is 2. Till 2, I have only these two signals. 
and uh, I have to add these two signals. So how does that signal look like? Starting from zero, assume that this signal is not there. If this signal is not there, then shape would have taken something like this. It would have grown continuously. Getting it? But now I have got one more signal at zero, which is trying to decrease. So this signal is trying to increase and this signal is trying to decrease. What is the result? This signal, it neither increases nor decreases, rather it stays at that level only. This is how the signal looks like till time uh, t equal to 2. Is that fine? So this signal is trying to increase, this signal is trying to decrease. But the original signal was somewhere here. So as a result is, it neither grows up, it, no, it neither decreases, it stays at that point only. Getting it? So this is how the signal looks like. Now at point t equal to t, what happens at t equal to t? Uh, t equal to 2, I got one more signal which is trying to increase. So assume that this signal is not there at all. If that is the case, then it would have stayed at level this position uh, forever it would have stayed at this position forever but that is not the case now i've got one more signal at t equal to 2 which is trying to increase what is the result this also increases forever so i would uh, indicate that with few dashed lines so this is how the final signal y of t looks like thanks for watching